perfect shot! Hey my friends and welcome to the next tutorial of 2A, the Asia Pacific. Before I start play this course, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button here on this YouTube channel. Be a part of the subscribe team. Also, follow me on Twitch where I go under the name Golf Clash Tommy. I'm going to play Gokashi Bay Hole 4. It's a part 4. Ella part 5, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, it's this course, and uh, it's highly debated if you can reach this green in two. And I would say that you can, but it will be hard, really, really hard. First of all, you need to make sure that you don't put yourself into the rough to your right or to your left, because then it will be too hard for you to reach to the green. Well, not the green, the next fairway spot, and also the green, of course. So the thing to do here is to put yourself as close to the edge of the rough as possible, uh, and then hope that you get some tailwind, actually. So we will see, and I will not be using a Kingmaker, I will be using a Quasar uh, on this course, uh, so I will put some... Uh, front spin and I will put some side spin as well. The thing that I meant with going into the rough and you will not be you will be able to reach is if you go short in here or short in here. Now we have some kind of tailwind uh, together with sides, uh, side wind which means that we will not in that case uh, go too short because we have the Nirvana but if you don't have the Nirvana as a rough iron maybe have a shorter rough iron and also have a headwind with your drive, you uh, will have a hard time to reach if you go short into the rough. So, uh, put in three in top spin and put in some side spin, putting yourself as close to the edge as possible. This will, with some kind of uh, tailwind, make us able to uh, go to green in two. Mm, with this type of wind, we will not be able to reach the green in two and uh, now we are going to put ourselves up uh, for a decent shot for the eagle as well. So we are going to do the same thing as our opponent is doing right now. He is playing himself from, I would say, go as much to your right as possible so you will, uh, in, uh, so you will have an easier approach shot. And I will come to that why it's actually important to, to stay right on this fairway spot instead of just saying where our opponent is doing. So, max backspin using two inside spin to the right. As you can see, I'm using the cataclysm. And here you see my ball guideline. I, I want my ball to land approximately right there. We need to have some kind of uh, space, at least when we are hitting this one. Because we don't want, if we hit the grate or something, we don't want to go into the rough. So, now we did hit the grate, but we did adjust for it, which means that we will stay on the fairway and we put ourselves in a really good way. And as you hear, I always adjust a little bit more uh, if I have the rough uh, in play, uh, which means that if I hit the ball uh, great. Uh, I will be able to stay on fairway either way. Here you can see with this approach on this green that slopes down, it's a uphill green uh, from where we are standing right now, then we don't want to use any backspin. Because if we're using backspin and hitting the ball and bouncing uh, in, uh, in that downhill slope, uh, we will go short most of the time. Now our opponent is doing that really, really great, and that was because he adjust, did adjust a bit more further up, around 20% further up than he is used to. And here I'm going to show you why um, I wanted to hit here to the right instead of to the left. Like our opponent, it's because I don't want to use any kind of spin. I'm, uh, I want my ball 
to use the power and I'm adjusting actually as I would be having two in uh, backspin while I'm adjusting. It's because when you uh, when you hit your ball in this kind of slope situation uh, and using backspin, the ball will stop quicker than it normally do. Which means that I normally don't use any kind of uh, backspin while approaching this shot. Uh, because I want my ball to use the, power, uh, the speed. And now we did hit the ball great, so then we don't go into the hole. And here you can see again, I uh, didn't go too far, even if I, in that case, uh, use it uh, doesn't use any of any spin. And now our opponent did an awesome shot with one and a half in backspin, and of course that's possible. I see many people. Uh, using uh, maximum backspin with your thorn and then rolling off the green because it's too much backspin. So I suggest you use yeah maxim, uh, maximum one in backspin. So my friends, we did lose this shootout, LA shootout, this hole, but it doesn't matter uh, because it was a really good uh, good game to show. So for the first, uh, if you if you especially having a headwind, don't go short into the rough, and especially if you don't have the Nirvana as a rough iron, uh, you will not be able to reach to the second fairway spot. If you will be a if you want to be able to hit your ball to the green in two, you want to play your so, uh, play your ball as close to the rough in front and hope that you get tailwind for your second shot. Uh, for your second shot, most of the time, uh, hit your ball to the next fairway spot and make it stop. Uh, put yourself a bit to the right so you have an open shot for the green so you don't have to use backspin uh, with your approach shot. With your approach shot as shot number three, you will have a good opportunity to do an eagle if you put yourself in the way that I uh, that I say. So, my friends, uh, I uh, will leave you in that way that thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and make a comment and tell me what you think. And also, uh, I would like to, uh, to know what you think about Tube 8. Is it tough? Is it hard? And uh, also, uh, like this video. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, my friends, Thanks for watching.